So TLC is the community that's putting on this event. What that stands for is the ladies community. So what we are, and I'm going to talk about this when I do my minute, my mini six minutes, but what TLC is is just a community of women, like-minded women, who put on events every month. So we bring together women through social events, different workshops and tons of fun things. So if you have any events that you want us to do, just send us a note. But you can find us on Facebook, and it is called The Ladies Community TLC Toronto. So feel free to follow us. That's where our active community is. But we also have a website. So if you don't have Facebook, go on our website, join our mailing list. This is new. You guys didn't even know this. Yeah. And, um, and then you can join our community that way. So tons of fun and exciting things. I didn't expect this event to be so popular, so I am happy that it is. Are we getting feedback? Can you pull it down? Um, the furthest one to the left. Nope, all the way down to the bottom? Yeah. Hello? Maybe a little bit more. Okay, so we'll just do some little housekeeping items now that we have the TLC mystery figured out. Um, but I honestly want to thank you guys so much for being here and for being part of this community because TLC has grown into something. I started TLC, I see now I'm going to go into my speech, but I started TLC um, in July, just trying to bring women together, and now we're at 2,300 people. So, so it's wonderful, TLC has grown into something so much more than I could have imagined, but it's also everything that I wanted and didn't know I wanted. So it is really cool to be part of that. So thank you guys all so much for being so active in the community, for creating your own events, and for bringing yourselves. And I always, always love how vulnerable and how real you are with one another, because that's the only way we can make authentic connections with each other. And I also want to thank all of the amazing speakers that we have here this evening. I know all of you in very different ways, and to prove that point, when I introduce every speaker, I'm going to tell you how I met them. Because it just goes to show you that you can meet people anywhere, and that's such a beautiful thing. So thank you so much, all of you, for bringing so much light and love to this world and for everything that you do. I really appreciate it. And thank you for everything you bring to my life, because I'm a different person because of each one of you. So thank you. And I want to thank a couple of people who have also helped out this evening. So Elisa, thank you for checking people in. And Crystal, who is now doing our Facebook Live. Watch your fingers. <laughs> right? Um, and, and Maddie. And Maddie who's taking photos. So she's with Lily Pro, which is her photography company. And she'll post. So we're going to post these pictures on our Facebook page. So you guys are, most of you are in the group. We have a new Facebook page. We're going to post those there. And on the Instagram account. So the Instagram is the ladies community. Very simple. Um, yeah, great. And let me make sure that I have any housekeeping items. So, oh, turn your phones off, please. <laughs> great, thank you. And I'm just going to quickly explain the flow of the evening. So, we do have time where every woman is going to speak for about six minutes. We are going to have a break in between so that you guys can get up, stretch, go to the washroom, grab a drink, talk to some people. Um, and then afterwards, you are more than welcome to hang out, talk to the speakers, talk to one another. This is a mixer, so enjoy, meet people. And then you're also welcome to join the party that will happen in the Thompson lobby, as well as the rooftop. So the rooftop does take capacity, so if you want to see it, go there sooner than later. Any questions? We're good? Okay, cool. This is... Talking for six minutes is really difficult. Each one of us could probably talk for two hours alone. So I'm sure all of us are really like, oh my god, six minutes, I had to make cue cards. I don't even have a printer, I wrote these out. So, okay, so, I hope that through my little talk with you, you learn a little bit more about me, a little bit more about TLC, and hopefully the future of TLC. So, a little bit about me, I am a single entrepreneur in her 30s, and with that, there are many things that society does not understand. Single, 30, and an entrepreneur. So there's, right, there's many things, and I'm sure all of you women have felt it. There are so many society shoulds and expectations put on us. You should be in a relationship. You should have a child. You should have a nightclub job. And I was never really good at following the rules. And so I found 
found myself kind of confused because I felt like I went on a trip with all of my friends and we got off at this beautiful city and then they, they decided, oh, I'm going to stay in this city, the family city, the 95 city, the baby city. And I was like, no, I'm getting back on the train. Who's coming with me? I want to see what the next city has to hold. And I'm not feeling ready yet. That city is great for who's ever there. I just might come back later or might want to see a different version of that city. And so I found myself not connecting to my friends in the same way because they were transitioning and we were all transitioning in different ways. And part of that was also accepting that that was okay and not feeling bad about it, that we were in different areas. But because of that situation, I also realized that I needed more friends and I wanted a bigger network. And to anyone who knew me before TLC, they would have thought I was crazy because they're like, you know so many people. Why do you need more friends? But I'm such, such a strong believer in always developing myself and becoming my best self. And it is true, you are the sum of the five closest people to you. And with that being said, I kept looking around me wanting driven and ambitious and strong women who weren't okay with mediocrity. And we're going to keep striving for their goals and really making all of their dreams a reality. And I was told by many people, I still am, oh, Vanessa, life is in all rainbows and butterflies. And I am well aware. We have all had our struggles, and I will tell you that in a different speech. Um, but with that, I said, you know what, I'm going online to make friends. And as a single woman, I don't even use Bumble to date. But I went on Bumble BFF to make friends. Some of you don't even know this, this is how TLC started. So I went on Bumble BFF, and girls talk a lot over text. And as an entrepreneur running four businesses, I did not have time to respond to these texts in the 24-hour time span that Bumble allots for you. And so I said, there has to be a better way. So I decided some girls were having group get-togethers. I'm like, this is genius. So I'm going to do group friend dating. So you're basically like speed dating your friends. So I created a group, and I said, you know, I'm going to have an event. Let's all go for drinks. I'm going to invite everyone I'm talking to. You invite everyone you're talking to. And this event was about 15 people. We did it again. Then it was 25. And I said, you know, there has to be a better way, right, by, like, business mind. And so I go, I'm going to create a Facebook group. I will post the event there. And whoever wants to come can come. So I don't have to message people every time we have an event. So in July, that group was 50, and now it's 2,300. So it has grown so quickly. And with that, I know I needed the group, but I also know that we've hit a chord in Toronto, and I'm sure it's not just Toronto. But there is a need for two things. There is a need for more positivity in this world. I try within the TLC community to, to really bring a positive environment. I don't necessarily, um, I will delete posts of venting and complaining because there's so much of that in this world. And there's always people for that. But I know that I want TLC and that was a conscious decision for the people I want in my life to have a positive influence and we can really build people up. And even when I'm venting, I tell my friends, tell me, Vanessa, no, if you're better than this, and I love actually, Ashley said this, that you are explaining, not complaining. And so within the TLC community, I want a positive, really positive influence because it's funny in today's society that we think that negative means realistic, which is ridiculous. So I continue to build that positive environment. And the second reason I think TLC has grown so quickly is because of the shift in femininity and what it means to be a woman. <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> so with all of our workshops that we do within TLC, and all of these women will touch on this today, it's how do we as women get more in tune with our femininity and what it means to be a woman? Because for the first time ever, it, I mean, we're getting closer and closer to being equal with men, right? We are more independent. We actually don't need a man to survive, which in the past we did. They hunted or we died, <laughs> right? It was in our genetics. And so, right? so with that, uh, with that change and the shift in femininity, it's how do we be independent? How do we be entrepreneurs and still be feminine? And how do we also learn to be friends with one another? It's, you know, how do we take away that competition? that um, the jealousy, because we all look the way we look, but how do we really support each other for our dreams and help each other get into that alignment? And how do we become friends again with one another and the 
allow each other to to get exactly what they want without wishing harm upon them. Um, and so now I need to go to my keyboard and I didn't even use them. Um, but with that, I really I'm going to ask you a couple questions and maybe this will resonate with you. But obviously. Friend dynamics are always something that we're working on, but I ask you moving forward that any time someone, whether it be female or male, makes you feel jealous, insecure, angry, that's a sign to you that that's something that you need to work on, right? And so it allows each of us to be more full and complete. So I hope that all of us can be better friends with one another, but also help each other become our best selves. So when that stuff does happen, we can say, hey, this is your stuff, this isn't mine. And the second is to really think about what expectations do you place on others? I started this little talk talking about the expectations that people place on us as women, but what expectations do you currently place on your friends and your relationships of what you want those to look like? And why do you place those expectations on them? What meanings do you attach to those expectations to make yourself feel better? Because at the end of the day, are you looking for other things outside of yourself to make you feel full and happy? Or are you making yourself feel full and happy on your own? Because that's a one-man job. And so I ask you today, do you have the courage to really let go of all external factors, don't blame those external factors for your happiness or your sadness, and really be able to love, let go, love others unconditionally, and really love yourself at the end of the day? Because at the end of the day, we all are looking for the exact same thing, which is why this community is so beautiful. We're all looking to belong, looking to be accepted for exactly who we are. So I hope to do that for you, and I hope we can do that for one another. So thank you so much for being part of the community and for listening to my little talk. <laughs>